so much I always feel like birds are like my spirit animals because they too. wake me up every m morning mm. and I'm always like they make me feel real safe like I feel like they're my friends you know they're listening to a bit of classical music okay okay there's just something here Can I light your smoke? Yeah. Thank you. It's like summer. I know. It's so nice. It's like spring, I'm not even cold at all. It's so nice. Well, that's because you're in a jacket. Yeah, but not, you know what I mean? Usually I wear something like this. I just put hair oil in it. Do you think that's fucked? Or yeah, something? no, I think it's very good. I want to put the camera down. I feel weird. Yeah. Because I'm vlogging. Because I'm vlogging. Do you like? Do you like the fact that I've got the scrunchie to match the line? It's it's giving me green vibes. I'm a hundred. It's giving green. It's giving green vibes. I'm a hundred percent. So good. So good. Literally cooking food. Guys, I'm a chef. So good. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Okay, go on. Okay, thank you so much, Universe, for the food that we're about to eat. Thank you for Emma, who was so kind to come over and cook for us, because it is the most divine thing when your friend cooks for you. And I'm so grateful to have met Emma, and I'm so grateful to have seen Emma in that place. And thank you so much for these two girls that I get to spend the evening with. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Anyone else want to go? Um, I feel like I'm gonna cry. Yeah, me too. May, <laughs> may, your, may your day and evening be full of romance and love. I just love you guys so much. I'm so grateful. You're both my favorite people in the whole world. You have helped me so much. And I couldn't ask for anyone better. Me too, guys. You guys are the best. Guys, I'm so excited for the evening ahead. I know. And I'm Emma, so thank you so much. Thank you so no much, worries. Emma. Thank you guys thank for you. having me. Amen. But Emma, I did most of the work. <laughs> <laughs>
sure they wear the red jacket. That's the cool that Right, because you look so pretty. This is my outfit. These oh are Emma's. my god. These are Emma's boots. So it looks good. even better IRL, can I just say? Looks and even better IRL. These are made on Soxy that Emma also gave Show us me. the boots. Show us the boots. These are Combo Emma's boots so myself. good. And then also this skirt is Emma's. Well, Emma left, them, left it here, but. She left the Emma. skirt, so I stole it too. And then this top, um, this like person sent it to us, but I can't remember yeah. what it is. Oh god, seriously, look very sorry, bad. Sorry, but it's time to get over it. Because basically, I'm using the, the black. It's time part to get of over it. But like, the black is so cool. I love this. Yeah, it's um, really cool. Top them with. But, um, but I like the shape of these so much. Yes, yeah, same. Get, There's a lot of bulk and then um, do the things. Wait, should I show them? And then this is Ellie's. Wait, I'm going to show them the top I made. I love my legs so much. This is the top I, I made. Like, so I, cool. I stitched. What's the what's the actual top underneath like? It's Keelan's top. I love to sew my drawings on like to something that has this shape if you know. Okay. What I mean. Like more of like a looser shape or even just like a t shirt, but I'll probably make them myself but then I wanna sew them so they'll be really expensive. So basically I don't know what to do. So That's and then fucked. I'll make big t shirts as well and then I sew loads of like patches on it. Like oh cool drawings. and then i also want to like get people to draw like you can draw stuff on it and then Emma can draw stuff on it and if i was just together with paul he could draw <laughs> hopefully <laughs> me and but it would be funny if you go hopefully me and paul get back together <laughs> so i thought of him i was like he could draw stuff on it anyway um this is also not me but this is what kind of look like me i actually got this off um I spit on you. I actually did get this off porn, but it was like a fee like I was watching female porn, which I think is really hot. Like you were like, watching female po porn like as a female. as opposed to animal porn. Because <laughs> basically on Pornhub they have like a female section, but I don't go. I just feminist is it feminist porn? Yeah, kind of. But like I I don't do that on Pornhub. I just look up like female porn, and then okay. Just, the, the news page called like Bellissima or some shit. It's not Bellissima, but it's it's, Bell, it's something like that. Bellamore or something, and then and then it's usually the, the the videos on there are like homemade, like proper homemade. Okay. And like they're like hippies who are having sex, and they're like, "This is hey, this is me and my boyfriend." Oh, that's and nice. And they actually love each other, so it's actually so. Is good that what you were watching? Video. But yeah, well, not why. I was watching for other reasons. No, but were, is that what you were watching when you when you did that photo? I was photo? watching this and I, I screenshot it because she looks really beautiful in the thing and then I was like, I'm going to draw that. And okay, I, okay. I her. She's so pretty. So you were jerking off? Then I jerked off. Okay. Um, okay. I don't want any I more didn't details. Jerk off. I didn't jerk off. I didn't jerk off. Well, then what you were I jerking doing? your meat. <laughs> oh my god. Seriously. Seriously. <laughs> Here's a Jake or Logan, quick. Here's a Jake or Logan. Oh my god, she just said that. She actually just said that on camera. She actually just said that on live television that she prefers Jay. <laughs> I prefer Jake as well. I prefer. I prefer <laughs> no, I prefer Jake. I prefer Jake as well. Logan's too cringy douchebag. Yeah. Here, do more, do more. Okay. Um, like, do more of the option question. Yeah, I like it. Who do you think? Who is the out of people you know? Who's the most likely to have an affair? My dad. <laughs> <laughs> who is the most unhealthy person you know? Like, who eats the most unhealthy? Well, is it most unhealthy overall? It could be me. It could be a. It could be a series of things. It could I'm be. I'm gonna just say someone that I can't say. But why don't you say the name and then you insert a beep afterwards? Oh my god, you yeah, heard it here first, there. ladies and gentlemen. What's your favourite city in the world other than Dublin? Berlin. Uh, why? Um, because no one, no one over there is self-conscious, I feel like. Okay, arguably, it's, it's the only place that you've ever lived other than Dublin. So is that maybe why? Because maybe you would be happy anywhere, or no? Or do you think Berlin, there's something special about Berlin? I think there's something special about Berlin. Okay. What is your biggest regret? I have one, but I can't remember. Oh, my biggest regret is doing the thing to you. So sad. It's not, don't cry. Wait, I'm not... <laughs> there's a... 
Seriously, that's so sad. I actually never have broad breasts, but I regret that. Yeah, I get what you mean. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. Because there's no value. That's there. fucked. Yeah, that I get what you right. mean. Yeah, well, yeah, I completely get you. That's mad because you know when like something is like you don't re- you forget that other people feel pain and guilt and stuff. You know what I mean? You know the way when you're oh, suffering. Oh, yeah, I'm not showing you I I d- didn't like that's so crazy that that's like a thing but anyways let's just move past it yeah. because it's so bad I hated that fight we got yeah. sorry I know I keep bringing it up but like yeah. it's just way too much okay um what's your ha- happiest memory from actually sorry I'll make it shorter what's your happiest childhood memory from like before the age of like teen teenage before you were a teenager do you want to sit down for better like and I'm gonna put these headphones away okay um, my favorite memory actually is probably when we went to, actually I'm just gonna say when we went to Galway that time and me and you were playing spit and we seriously playing that playing was the exact memory I was thinking about in my head as well that was my exact memory me and you playing spit at the table and we had widows yeah, seriously funny. that was my exact memory that's so yeah. crazy wait we finished each other's Wait, no, I hate that. Wait, seriously, that's a frozen reference. Do you yeah, know that? Yeah, yeah. Are you ashamed no, or no? Reason. What do you think was the single most disruptive thing that's ever happened to you? Disruptive. Disruptive, yeah. Like that stunted my growth. No, the most disruptive thing is in like the, the biggest thing that's ever happened to you, the most profound thing that's ever happened to you. Probably my parents' divorce or maybe my breakup. Okay. One of those. Yeah. So big negative things. Yeah. Okay. Um. What is the most valuable lesson that you learned last year? To value freedom more than safety. Okay. Would you like to expand on that? Um. Well, living out, like moving out of love has a big fear. So like not just like. It's just like I've completely changed my perspective of like. Instead of kind of knowing why I want something and I'm going for kind of distinguishing between wanting something out of safety or actually genuinely wanting something. Okay. And only staying... So so moving with, like, fear, so doing things out of fear. Yeah, and also kind of um, acknowledging the absurdity of only moving out of fear and how that Mm. always... uh, and how dissatisfaction always leads to that. Mm. And that you can't... You actually can't be happy that way and... Um, it's it's actually um, easier to move with love and it's more um, yeah and just having the actual desire to be free rather than the desire to be accepted by the people and kind of yeah. as well existing without the perceptions of other people and having an identity without the perceptions of other people so being alone is the best thing that I've that I'm knowing that being alone is the happiest I'll ever be is being alone is when I'm alone. Wow. And the freest I'll ever be is when I'm alone. And like that, um, yeah, and being content with being alone. And also, because I feel like when people talk about them being alone, they're like, there's always negativity surrounded by it, and it's always mm. something that you kind of have to cope with. Mm. When it's actually something that's like the most, I think that I would choose that over anything else. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's it's like. That's where where my home is. You know what mm. I mean. It's when I'm alone with myself. That's where my home is, and um, it's not something that I I cope with anymore. With loneliness, it's not something I cope with anymore. It's something that I crave. And you thrive in. Yeah, I think that everyone can thrive in that. That's so, that so profound. Wow, that's so cool. Um, and do you think that you gained that perspective out of that kind of that? Because that sounds like mine. That's totally like that's such an amazing thing for you to have been able to come to at like 19 to mm-hmm. be able to have had that kind of comfort in your own body and mm-hmm. in your own self and in your own company like that is p- people never get that mm-hmm. there's many most people I think never get that mm-hmm. so would you attribute that to kind of your breakup yeah okay the pain and from that also I feel like I've always been like that because I've never um been able to depend on people really. I've never been able to depend on people and I've never been able to um, see why like to kind of conform and like to do what everyone else is doing for this for the reason of fear of like or like I've never been able to keep my relationships even with friends yeah. you know I've never been able to because I, I had loads of friends and then they all just left me so, so you're I, always expecting people then 
to leave to already leave, yeah and I, so I, do you I, think yeah. that that was the kind of the fear thing as well so you're saying that you were like staying in attachments or whatever that mm-hmm. out of fear rather than out of like love or happiness mm-hmm. do you think that an element of um an element of that the kind of the kind of acting out of fear came from that core belief that people don't stick around you or that people are always going to leave yeah. you and that was kind of something that you thought about before you, that was something that was blocking you from being able to access mm. presence mm. in those relationships yeah do you think that that could have um, affected your ability this is like a, not a question that I'm this isn't a leading question that I think I know the answer to yeah. at all by the way if you think it's a dig mm. but do you think that affected your ability to love properly do you think that there was anything that you did wrong in your partnership mm-hmm. out of because of that fear? Yeah. Well, I think that I think that um, I think that everyone like unless you're like not I'm not I'm not going to friends with you, but I feel like everyone in relationship in romantic relationships, unless you're like completely evolved as a person, mm. I feel like no one kind of loves someone properly. And I was thinking about yeah. the other day about everyone in a relationship have manipulation tactics so that person yeah. will stay with them yeah. because everyone is like that's because everyone in the world is struggling with self esteem issues self esteem and, uh, and struggling with uh, they don't know um, how to get love because they don't realise where it is which is like inside themselves so mm. they're like looking outward and they're going this is all the love you know because that's the closest kind of that kind of triggers that thing it's that spiritual thing inside of you which is like um, the agape love, mm. if you know what I mean, that like spiritual love, where that's what kind of being in love, that's why it feels so good. It's like that um, triggers that feeling that that comes with so inside you, but people confuse that because they think this person's bringing me this spiritual love, okay, and I am loved because of this person. Mm. When, so then they kind of go, I want to keep this, and then they kind of cling on to them. And also, other things come in where it's like they fulfill my needs, they validate me. Like mm. completely, like and then you depend. It's a yeah drug yeah. that you become dependent yeah, on, and then yeah, but you don't realize that it, this all the love and all the good feelings are coming from with with inside you. I can't remember where I was going with that, but um oh, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> well I just was like oh yeah that's yeah, what, what? Yeah, facts I, <laughs> I didn't even think yeah, that I know. yeah it's something that you don't think about, but everything that everything that that's you need is already inside yeah, you. Yeah, that's already inside. You. Like even when like. We're doing, like, when I do my law of attraction meditation, I'm visualizing this life. And I have this feeling, the exact feeling I have when I have that, when, when I'll have that in front of me. Yeah. So what's the difference? You really just form? changed my day. Do you know that? Like, really? you really just, like, changed my the whole buzz. Like, really? Right now. Like, you did something for me there really, really? intensely. Yeah. Oh wow. God, I'm so glad. That's so crazy. Like, just the way you were, I kind of understood that. You know, when it's like when something resonates with you, it's like yeah, you already I mean, knew it. Yeah, you already knew it, but yeah. it could just somebody, the way yeah. someone articulates yeah. it is really, like, resonant. Wow, yeah. Saoirse. Um, but that's, wait, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, but that was so, that affects, because I, I, I think other people have different styles of how they manipulate people mm-hmm. and what their fears are kind of like represent that so like i would be in a relationship i would be like i'm scared of them abandoning me mm. because that's my from my trauma from a kid so what i do is i put all of my energy into that person and i like make them need me mm. because i know that, that that someone will stay if they need you yeah. people will stay longer because they need you and not because and because if someone doesn't love you anymore, they still need. You know what I mean? Yeah. Need, need is more of a guarantee that they'll stay with you. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 So okay. Like, oh my God! Here's your fucking spitting back. Yeah. So, uh, so I'll make that person need me, and it's not like. Because you don't think you're enough to just be like to love, for to love, to yeah. Love. So it's like, I'm like, but it's also because like I used to. Do you then have a ne- sorry to interrupt you, but do you then have a negative connotation with needing other people? Do you think yeah. that that's bad? Okay. Yeah. Well, like, yeah. But um, cause, but I think I, that in relationships, I'm always made out to need the person more than they need me. But that's not true. But that's not true. Okay. I think that's what in like romantic relationships, it's always like made out as if I'm this like person who needs that person, but in reality. Made out by who? Do you think that that's the outside perception of the relationship? Yeah, the perception of okay. the person and 
they think because yeah. you're so good at manipulating because they don't I'm even so know yeah, they exactly. don't even know that they've been schooled because you might it's say well, it, because it's like <gasps> I, I make this the most I make this relationship the most comfortable experience yeah so they associate me with good so if that involves them thinking that that are uh, that they that I'm them yeah because which is usually the case because people like to feel needed yeah so then yeah. I will make them so you're shot. I think I do that exact same thing yeah. I think I do that exact same thing yeah. and also the other problem with that is then you're actually not you're not uh within the relationship itself you're not making sure you, their needs come above yours mm-hmm. then if you're trying to create that kind of cushion for yeah. them so that they stay that kind of entrapment cushion then you never you you're not being honest actually mm-hmm. with the other person because you're not um being truthful about what you want and what yeah. you need from them and what you how you'd like your relationship to look like mm-hmm. because you've created the rela- the relationship and the kind of dynamic you yeah. have is created out of your own fear yeah. and then that's obviously unstable and it's also like as well that it's just like i feel like there's like i'm in a mother role so i'm really like i know i it's also a construct it's i have a, yeah it's a it's a controlling thing as well that yeah I, where it's like I then need to like because I need to keep them in my pocket you know what mm. I mean so like you know they'll you know I'm like well you'll need me you'll need me to do this you'll need me to do this you two, two, I mean? two, two, it's, two. it's not malicious it's it's subconscious but of course. I can acknowledge it when I'm doing it and, and, but also it's another thing where it's like um it also in my relationships it's been like they've had a manipulation, manipulation tactic and we've um yeah acknowledge that in the relationship and i do too but it's like as well because the guy i was with used to always be like oh you're so you're so uh you know what i mean he go oh i'm such a good person but i'm too much of a good person because my one would be like i gave you too much so like it's like it looks uh, like i'm giving too much so it's like i'm just too much of a good person yeah but it's, it's difficult not. it's difficult to have those conversations as well yeah. because it's kind of very like the concepts are kind of hard to get your brain around because people just automatically assume um, manipulative is bad, evil mm. person. People are too polarized with those mm. sorts of things. They don't realize how they're everybody, every person is manipulated in, in different ways. Yeah. That's how children learn yeah. how to get what they want. Children, yeah. ch- children learn how to pretend to cry mm. to get sweets. Mm. Like that's you're you're yeah. literally learn from the get go. The only way to kind of rectify your own behavior is to do your study about your brain, mm. move with love mm. first and foremost and check your check your intentions all the time Mm -hmm. and genuinely and be honest with yourself you know what i mean like i feel like that's such a big problem the biggest problem is people aren't honest with themselves about who they are and they think that they're good you know people who refer to themselves as good people are the most delusional people of all time what was the question Seriously, I don't really know. I oh, asked. I, I, I do not know how to love properly. Oh so yeah, well that now, wasn't the I question. Think now, I think I've learned so much. Um, I think I've learned so much. So are you zooming up on my boobs? No, not at all. Um, I would never sexualize a woman. I've learned so much. So now I know what I deserve, and I know what other people deserve. Not other people too, but I know what I am. Um, the love you give to other people is the love that's overflowing from your own cup. Isn't that what they say? So, like, make sure you love yourself more yeah. and then it's whatever the overflow is, is how you exactly. love other people. I know, I I'm know, really I on that. Now. Sorry, sorry. No. Um, sorry. Yeah, I get that so much. Because like, as, well, you know, as well, very, um, I'm very, as well, in a relationship, very, uh, I don't know what neurotic maybe is the word, but it's like, I'm not real, like, analytic, I guess. I'm just like, I analytical. Out, analytical. I figure out their shit so they don't have to as well so it's like and explain them back to them yeah we'll get in a fight as well like my ex-boyfriend used to go so she really upset me because you did this and then I would go silent for like 10 minutes every single time and like we acknowledged it as a problem because I would try to figure out why I did it so I could give him a full reason as to Mm. why I did it and how my intentions weren't bad and how I do love him if okay. you know what I mean so I'd be like so basically I did this because in my childhood but it wasn't like an excuse it was just to reassure him mm. that I did love him because usually yeah. when you get upset about something it's like uh, the the main reason is just because you don't feel loved but um so then my apologies would be really cold because I was just I, I would just jump into like like a logical which is mode. so interesting because it's so like so kind of uh, like the opposite of your balls as well. Yeah, do you know. know what I mean? I know exactly. So I would just be like, I'm really t-. like, and I remember before, like, s- when I'd have to say sorry. Well, so I should grab me a mental filter. I, w- I, uh, I wanted to say sorry, but I, I would be like, say it like with compassion, say it with compassion. I'd just be like, 
I'm really sorry. And I wouldn't be able to go. I'm just really, I'm I think just the, maybe the shame. Do you think that. the shame builds up a wall around you to protect you, kind of thing? Yeah. So like you, it yeah. instantly like puts your defenses up because is that yeah. you? Do you think? And do you reckon also, that's like, why? When have you seen me, like even in our relationship, how many times have you seen me get upset and go, "I'm really sorry"? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I you don't do you you lot. suffer in uh you suffer, suffer in silence. In yeah. You're, yeah. Yeah. You yeah, don't I, express. Yeah publicly exactly because i'll cry by myself but or i'll be upset by myself but mm. i don't like to but like i know that but that's also a good thing because like i've been with people who like you know what i mean cry too much you yeah know, people who cry too much and they're like i'm so sorry and then they and then themselves it, yeah um but i'm kind of but like sometimes it's nice when someone has a like, gets upset for upsetting you you know mm. what i mean um but i guess there's Levels, well there's yeah i think it's another thing is it's like it doesn't really it's not really about how inconvenient or convenient it is it's like some people actually are just like i like me for instance like if i'm in a fight like there there's going to be tears shed there's no sure. doubt about it like i can't help it mm-hmm. and i can't get my especially if i'm in a fight with you or mum oh my god i can't like i literally can't fucking help it like i just get so scared yeah but you don't actually like you don't genuinely Thanks. That's so. Um, that's so, such a good one. Because I feel like you feel like you do, but you don't. Um, and also, if but also if if that person does something to me, I've already forgiven them before we've even had a conversation about it. Yeah. You know, like one time, a guy I was with did fuck did something really fucked up, mm. and he didn't even realize he did it, but it was really fucked up. And then I was like, it's a, and then I said it to him, and then I go, but it's okay because I know you did it because blah 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 blah. blah yeah. That's like, the proper, exact like, same proper, as me. Yeah, like proper, like I know it's okay because I know you did it. Because that's very Libra, like, seriously. That's very Libra, but I don't have any Libra on my chart. Really, that's so Libra. But I like that. I understand that so much. I'm the exact same. Yeah. I like because the thing is, it's like you have to be i feel like that's i, I I've, i'm like that anyway but i to think that myself as well, to make it's myself a good myself. attribute i think to have because then you never sometimes it's like you need the apology just to know mm-hmm. just so that they can express it sometimes mm-hmm. and like the relationship could be rectified without the apology but for the most part i think it's really important for oneself not to need apologies mm-hmm. because like you're never going to yeah. be happy because you, you 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 just but like you just get so boiled up in resentment you know and there are apologies that the thing is in life like there's apologies that you're never going to get yeah. and sometimes like yeah. there's relationships around and there somebody has really hurt you mm. but the thing is you're never going to get that apology for that for that thing and it's like you're you I either are going to forgive them or you're going to live the rest of your life in silent resentment yeah, exactly. if you want to keep that relationship yeah. around you know Okay, we're going to have to... Seriously, this has been 30 minutes. Thank you so much for interviewing. Well, I, I, you know what I mean? I have more cues, but, like, I'm not in the mood. I need more prep. like, all the time on my channel. Seriously, I need more prep time. Anna, can you actually interview me? Yeah, I would love to. I love it so much. That would be so good, because I just love being an interview. Like, that would be so fun. So good. And I'm like Emma Chamberlain. Emma Chamberlain? I really want... You know when, like, the color daddy and Emma Chamberlain, she's so, like... She's so self-contained, and she's just, like... Yeah, so I just think it's. But so seriously, cool. you're perfect just the way you are, and you know that, and you're so like beautiful, and like the way right. er, all your expressions and everything right. about you is so. 